Good morning. Well, hang on. <sighs> Got some dog slobber on there. Good morning from Ehrenberg. I met up with uh, Badge. There's Badge. Wow, you're getting suited up, man. Oh well, yeah, I know. I'm getting all my good clothes dirty. <laughs> I need to get I need to get an outfit like that just so when I like change the oil. Uh, anyways, today we're gonna work on the bus. <laughs> this today we got this heater actuator thing and uh, basically when I'm driving and I put it on cold it still blows out warm and, and this thing goes out often and apparently you got to find it somewhere inside the dash like way in there so I'm gonna have badges help with that I got a couple front uh, shocks here oh no way I got an outfit amazing uh, we're gonna replace these shocks um, I'm hoping for a better ride, and also I ordered a couple for the rear so then I don't have a saggy bottom. All right, how do I look? <laughs> I look like a mechanic? Yo, am I hired? Looking that way. Look at you, eh? <laughs> yeah, not bad, Holy huh? Holy smoke. <laughs> All right, we're going to get to work here. I'm not sure. So he's spraying WD on 40. What are you doing? What's that? What are you doing down there with that WD-40? The shocks. Oh. You said we do the easy stuff first. Yeah. That's what you said. All right. So why do we? So are you doing uh, shocks? WD forty to uh, to what? To penetrate the uh, rusty bolts? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right. So just so you guys know, this is a tight squeeze over here. We got the pro. We got a pro and we got an amateur. What do you got to do for people who don't know to get a shock off? Well, see the. The Chevy, you're all right, because the Chevy, you can come down with a socket on an extension to break it off. Yeah. But this Ford's got the, the wheel well there, so you can't do it. So you have to take this one off. But what we're doing is basically putting the ratchet on there, and we'll rinse, because it's got a nut here, right? Yep. It's like a bolt, so yep. it makes it pretty easy, really. Badge is ratcheting the uh, top of the shock off, and uh, he said that old... Old shocks, it's impossible to get them off. They always, this part breaks. So it, it did in, indeed break off. Now that makes it fun. <laughs> that would break off? Yeah. yeah. That's my, we can get her. So heads up, if you got an old rusty bus from the East Coast, <laughs> your, your nuts will break. There you go cheat by taking a little four or five four or five inch grinder and go in here with a with a cutoff wheel mm -hmm. and right between the rubber just cut that right off because yep. they're in the garbage anyway right yeah you know, you're saving them yep but if it spins on us and strips then that's what we'll do we'll put the grinder on it all right so uh badge has got the big guns out here he's gonna just grind that shock off and basically right where the uh wrench is just <laughs> Just saw it right off. We are uh, <clears throat> warming up the uh, bottom bolt here to try to uh, get it off easier. And when I say we, I mean badge. It's on fire, you should have left it burning. <laughs> <laughs> So the reason to do this is because metal expands or shrinks with heat. I forget which one, but as you can see, we got it right off. And again, when I say we, I mean badge. Good work, badge. We, we're doing it. You got coveralls on. We're doing it. All right, this is the final life of the shock. It's coming off. We got the vice grips. All right. <laughs> way, to, way to go. Oh man, so 20 minutes later, we got this uh, shock off. You have to compress the shock because you can't get it in there. Alright, so what we did was we wrapped the mechanics uh, wire. Top, yeah, with mechanics wire, the top and the bottom, which you can't see with this wire, to keep it compressed so we could get this in the hole. And all you got to do is just clip it. You just, got, you just cut the uh, wire. You and then up, up the shock goes, and you just remove all the wire. It's a nice tip. We got a little, uh, a little jerry rig here. So it's not jerry rig; it's fixed. <laughs> so what we did was we cut the stud off. 
the weld and the stud come off that's welded on from the factory. So instead of getting panicky and go through withdrawal symptoms, you just drill it out and it takes a 5 8 bolt, which you take out of my trailer hitch and put in there. Exactly. So we're and using you put a... the shock up there. Yeah. Because this side, you don't have to fight like the other side because we already got the thing off, right? Yeah. And then we put the washers on. We yeah. Space it up with some washers. And we put a self locking nut on it. Like so. There you go. That's it. Done like supper. Okay, so this is where your shock rides, right? Yep. You, you see the, you'll see the spot where it rides, where the boot rides. So you put it down there, and and the complaint was that when you went over a bump, see how much it moves? Yep. It moves so fast, right? Where when you go past that, it doesn't move. Oh, interesting. See, so it gets to that one spot and it wears out, right? It bypasses or whatever. These are supposed to be gas shocks that extend by themselves, and you see they don't even do that. So. Oh yeah, it's totally stuck in that position. That. Yeah. Wow, look at that! It doesn't go anywhere, guys. No. It's completely stuck. And remember how we had to fight to get the new ones in? Yes. Yeah. So that's why. Awesome. And these are what these uh, new Mac Daddy uh, hoeing, uh, hoeing, uh, hauling and towing shocks look like these are actually a little bit cheaper than the other ones which are for rvs but these also for rvs but it's specifically said heavy loads hauling towing whatever so me and the dude uh decided these would probably be a little bit better so uh we've both been working on uh the rear shocks i think you can see it here uh we used well we see i helped out i did this one Fuck. <laughs> you have to admit that you're right. Badge is doing that one. You have to admit you're right. What was I right about? 15. Yeah, I watched the video, oh, that's why. Uh, I watched a little YouTube tutorial on how to replace the shocks or whatever and the nut sizes or whatever. Anyways, it's pretty much self explanatory. There's only two spots where you take this thing off there's a bolt that goes through on the bottom, which you can access. Then you gotta reach way up top. And just hit the top part. Um, well, same same thing we did at the front. Hang on to this one. Unscrew that one. It's a pain in the butt. I'll see you when we're done. Just like magic, we got new shocks. Here we go. We are uh, doing a little test drive on a bumpy road with the Monroe RV shocks, towing and hauling. All I gotta say, wow, what a difference! The complete night and day. Also, we got the crew. We're going out for pizza. Wave hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> um, pizza on me, my treat. But my God, it's it, like I said earlier. It was like Grandma's Cadillac. This is like I don't know. This is even better than Grandma's Cadillac right now. It is so. so